As adventures go, it doesn't get any better than this. A week-long trek to the top of the world into the icy frontier of Alaska. An epic landscape that defies description. And that's just the beginning. We went to the very heart of Alaska's glacier country, where the giant icebergs begin. And I can tell you it's no place for the faint-hearted. For me, ice used to be a very foreign concept indeed. Not anymore. I've walked across it, climbed it, paddled through it, and simply marvelled at its majestic beauty. I've also learned a thing or two about how much it all means to us and the planet. In the most extreme reaches of our planet, thousands of kilometres from any city or civilization, exists a place that is arguably Mother Nature's greatest work of art. They call it the cryosphere, a stunning frozen landscape of jagged peaks, endless valleys and mighty glaciers. And nowhere is it more spectacular than Alaska. It's sculptural and beautiful. And uh, it's just another, it's otherworldly, never the same. We've come here to see these giant iceberg factories in action. Huge chunks of melting ice break off in a natural process called carving. It's simply awesome. You just hear this rumble and something so large that it should never move, moves. And it's, uh, it's very inspiring and just glad you're not under it. When these things fall off, they're like apartment buildings just falling into the ocean. So powerful. And this is the result. Icebergs sculpted by wind and water floating in a wondrous water park. You're out in the middle of a dead glacier, you know, or a dying glacier, I guess. This is the end of the line, isn't it? These are the bits that are broken away from that glacier, and that's it. Yeah, these are kind of the death throes at the, uh, the end of it all, eh? Like, this is how it ends for a lot of glaciers, is pieces fall off or melt away, and they're done. Will Gadd is obsessed with ice. We're going to do it? We're going to do it. Let's do it. Get a little speed up in case it's shallow. Look at all the water falling down. It's yeah, melting. we're going to get dripped on. He's a world champion ice climber and environmentalist. Oh, it's ice straight underneath, too. Yeah, I mean, and he's taking me on a journey to understand his passion. <laughs> that was cool. These are claws for your feet. They're going to stick into the ice and keep you from sliding to your, uh, to your death. Good. <laughs> For Will, Alaska is one giant playground, and today he's got a new kid to show the ropes. A duck walk, it's kind of a similar motion. The big, the big problem with crampons is that if they catch your pant legs, then you're going to flip forward and you're going to be sliding down like a penguin to your doom down there, right? <laughs> you so don't want that. You don't want that. Walking on ice is treacherous, but it doesn't take long to discover the majestic beauty of the glacier. <laughs> Sun's coming out of it too. It's just lighting it up. That's just fantastic, isn't it? it looks, I love the way the color changes, right? Like it looks much bluer right now, and then it'll change and it'll be white. It's it's never the same, just moment to moment. It's... You love being here, don't you? Yeah. This is this is where I'm where I feel happiest and least stressed out and just it's such a cool look around here, you know. <laughs> I mean, there's people who are at work right now in offices, right? And we're here. How cool is that? Pretty cool. Yep, good. You can whack it again. But for this daring Canadian, looking at the ice is never enough. His passion is to climb it. And to fully understand his icy world, I have to climb with him. Remind me again, why am I doing this? <laughs> all right, well, if I went to Australia and you said, oh, the ocean's great, you know, and you can go in there and there's fish and everything, and I just took your word for it, how much fun would that be, right? This is, you're going to get into the ice and you're going to experience it and feel it and see it. Feet up, good. This ice I'm climbing is thousands of years old. It was formed by snow that good. fell much higher up in the valley. The snow compacts and hardens into ice. Gravity slowly drags the ice down, forming giant frozen rivers. Get one foot across here, mate, and then we're good. All right, now we're safe. We're not going to die. <laughs> oh, far out. <laughs> Nicely done, eh? Hey, thank Super you. Super good job. Thank you very Are much. Are you pumped? 
Oh, oh yeah, like, <laughs> like jelly, eh? Oh, jelly. Yeah, you did great. The dark patches you can see on the glacier are dirt and sand and rock scraped off the side of the mountain as the glacier slides down. It's kind of funny, but this used, this used to be the mountains here. All these rocks used to be the mountains around here. Yeah. And it's just the glaciers come along and just like a giant hammer just ripped it all apart. It's so powerful, isn't it? Yeah, and that's, that, used, that rock was probably up on the side of that mountain yeah. a thousand years ago, and now it's down here. And that's what makes these big U-shaped valleys. It's just the glacier coming along like a giant chisel and ripping it all out. Straight through. Yeah. But this magnificent landscape is in decline. For millennia, these glaciers have been a barometer for the world's climate. Now, they're disappearing. Will has seen the rapid change firsthand. 35 years probably I've been crawling around in glaciers. And I think the biggest thing that I see now is that they're just so much smaller. Everywhere I go, they're, uh, they're just smaller. Everything's shrinking. This is the Kamik Glacier. It's one of Alaska's largest. It's a colossal river of ice that stretches more than 40 kilometers back through this valley. Now, it's hard to imagine something this enormous being so fragile, but it is. In fact, it's dying. Warmer temperatures mean that glaciers like this are disintegrating at a much faster rate than anyone had predicted. And there's nothing we can do to stop this epic meltdown. This is exactly what's going on on a small scale that leads to bigger and bigger flows coming together. And it's literally going down the drain right there. There's the, there's the glacier, it's heading out. And what's all that water doing to the glacier? Well, once that water gets down underneath the glacier, it'll kind of act as a lubricant. And it'll make the glacier move quicker. And then as it cuts these canyons, obviously, this is an area where more warm air can get into the, into the canyon and it'll melt it faster. This is what's slaying the glacier, if you like, you know, it's, it's going away. These trickles become torrents, eroding the foundation of the glaciers and causing them to split apart. And nowhere is that happening faster than Columbia Glacier. Chad, you've been in an A-star before? Yep. Geologist Dr. Shad O'Neill is taking us to see it. Getting there is quite an expedition. An hour-long chopper flight, punching through the clouds and climbing over ice-capped mountains more than 3,000 metres high. When you get up in the air and, and see it like this, does that give you a different perspective? Yeah, it makes it a lot easier to see the whole landscape, how the glacier's sitting in the landscape, and gives you an idea of how far back the change extends. In the last 30 years, Columbia Glacier has retreated up the fjord 16 kilometers. Columbia has been in what we call a rapid retreat since about 1980. And you can see the bathtub ring up across the valley there. And that is really what the shape of the glacier was in, in 1980. The speed of this meltdown is unprecedented and the scientists are playing catch up. Every time you get out here, are you surprised by what you see? Totally surprised. I mean, just in 2004, the glacier was over here. Where we're sitting now? Where we're sitting now is probably covered by ice four or five years ago. To look at it, you wouldn't know these glaciers are sliding as much as 20 metres a day. But Chad and his team of scientists have been spying on the ice to help them understand the bigger picture. Chad, what have we got here? Uh, we've got the time-lapse cameras that we've been working with um, the Extreme Ice Survey in University of Colorado. We, these are automatic cameras that take a picture of the glacier terminus every 20 minutes. And what this team of scientists have caught on camera is remarkable. They can now actually see what the data's been telling them for years. There is a pattern happening on the globe that glaciers are, are mostly retreating and thinning and losing mass. And, and it's, it's really neat to be able to, to watch on such a large scale what's, what's been going on. Just took a picture. That was it? That was it. All right. <laughs> yeah. So this is a great set of eyes 
out exactly. here on the ice. Exactly. Without having to be in the weather all the time, we've got somebody watching. There's nothing new about glaciers changing. Historically, our climate has warmed and cooled depending on the Earth's orbit around the sun. But these scientists have no doubt that our carbon emissions have escalated this current cycle of global warming. It's faster than any climate change that we've seen in 800,000 years. And so to me, that's a big deal and one that we can't explain by the orbit of the Earth or the wobble of the planet or things like that. And this one has to have some external forcing, which is us. The death of a glacier is a strangely beautiful thing. It's seductive and dangerous. The bergs are forever shifting and rolling. Look at the berg rolling back up now, right? Look at that thing flipping, yeah. see it? Yeah, it's rolling now. It's not a matter of if these things are going to roll, because they're being melted underneath all the time. It's when they're going to roll. But that's the thrill of Will's most extreme stunt. Whoa! Climbing there icebergs. You feel stable? <laughs> yeah, let me know if you hear any cracks or anything though, eh? But I'm looking for an iceberg to climb. I first want to find one that's stable and won't kill me. You, know, you die, you lose. That is definitely <laughs> been rule number one for all of this. It's higher than I thought, eh? I don't really like adrenaline. I just like being out in the mountains and being in interesting, cool places and doing cool things. So if I just wanted adrenaline, I could go play in traffic, right? <laughs> there has to be some kind of meaning to it that you go, yeah, that's worth the risk. Ah, oh, that's cool. That's unbelievable. This is Alaska, you know? The meaning for Will is simple. The iceberg he climbs now will soon turn to water, flowing downstream and out to sea. It's a key contributor to one of the biggest environmental threats of the 21st century, rising sea levels. If this rate of change doesn't change, <laughs> keeps going up, then it's, I think it's going to put a lot of people in the world into a really miserable existence. Should we care? Should Australians care about what happens here in Alaska to this glacier? You will have an impact from global sea level rise as well. Mm. You know, it's, it's a global phenomenon. The small glaciers probably have over half a meter of sea level equivalent stored in them. And a half a meter of sea level change in our lifetime would be overwhelming. And it'd be very expensive to try and mediate that. Alaska calls itself the last frontier and its glaciers are certainly one of the great unexplored wonders of the world. It's been an extraordinary journey of adventure and discovery. And whether you think global warming is fact or fiction, there's no doubt this epic landscape is changing forever. I'd like the skeptics to be right. That's the easy way. Everybody just keep doing what they're doing right now and it'll be fine. That'd be cool. I hope they're right. I think they're wrong. You know, there's all kinds of extinct species in the world, and I think there'll probably always be a glacier somewhere, but maybe it'll be the last one in a cage, and they'll be like, oh, that's the glacier. <laughs> it's what they used to look like. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au and the 9now app.